Hello, hey, uh, this video will talk about what Lightroom is, who it's for, and how it compares to things like Bridge and Camera Raw and Photoshop, uh, Lightroom Classic. If any of those sound interesting as a topic, okay, and you're completely new to this uh, world, then continue on. If you are like, I know all that, just get on with the course. That's okay, you can move on with the course. I won't be offended if you skip along. Uh, first up, let's talk about what Lightroom is. So let's start actually with who it's for. It's for photographers. Beginning photographers, super experienced photographers, they all use the same product. Okay, so that's what Lightroom is designed for. And um, what does it do? It organizes photographs and edits them and then exports them ready for either print or sending to your client. So that's who it's for and what it does. All right, first let's compare Photoshop with Lightroom. Okay, they do, there's a lot of overlap. And in this course, we'll do a bit of round tripping where we go from Lightroom to Photoshop to Lightroom. So it is handy to know both, you don't need to. Okay, the differences mainly are the things that they do the same. They do um, basic retouching the same, uh, you know, fixing exposures and your highlights and colors and doing all that sort of stuff can be done in either. You can work with raw images in both because uh, Photoshop has camera raw built in. So that's, that's where they overlap, where they're different is Lightroom is a lot better at organizing. If you've ever opened stuff in Photoshop and you're like, oh, I gotta open my photo shoot that I did today and I took a thousand photographs, open in Photoshop, Photoshop melts. <laughs> it wants to open a couple of photographs at a time and it's designed to do that, okay? And it has no way of organizing any of your photographs. So if you shut them all and they all say DSC 14742, Photoshop's not gonna really help with that in bulk. Okay, so you need to open every individual image, do the edits and save them. And as a, say a graphic designer uh, or a web designer, Photoshop's great because you're only dealing with like the cream of the crop, the things the photograph ha photographers finish with or stock photography. Okay, so you just use Photoshop. But as a photographer, you've got a thousand photographs. And what you might find is you adjust one of them and let's apply all the settings to all of the photographs. Can we do that in Photoshop? No way. Can you do it? You kind of can, you can do actions and weird stuff. And you can force Photoshop to do some of these things, but Lightroom just copy and paste all the settings that I've made these made adjustments for on these thousand photographs and it goes, okie dokie. Okay, so that's where it's really beneficial using something like Lightroom. And um, so great for organizing, naming, and applying to bulk edits. Okay, great for retouching. Where uh, Photoshop is better is when you get into things like masking. Okay, you can do some basic masking in Lightroom that allows us, we'll do it in the course, we can mask different areas to do adjustments. But say you wanna clear cut somebody out. You wanna cut me out of here, okay, and put me onto a different background, and then, I don't know, graft an alien's head on top, okay, compositions and montages and collages, and um, that's Photoshop's land, okay? So often as a photographer, you're not going to be making every photograph into <laughs> clear cut alien head Dan. Okay, so it's a special kind of things or special effects and that's where Photoshop is really great. And I'll show you that, we'll show you how to. It's, it's intended that um, a lot of the licenses for buying uh, Illustrator, sorry, Illustrator, it's a completely different program. Uh, a lot of the licenses that you use to buy Lightroom will actually combine Photoshop as well as a kind of package deal because there are just some things that Photoshop are good for, clear cutting, um, adding text and all that sort of stuff is Photoshop's throb. Um, and Lightroom is the doing great edits, you know, getting everything looking great, doing it for lots of them, organizing your photographs. So yeah, there's a place for Photoshop and it's not an and or. If you're a graphic designer, you often just use Photoshop. If you're a Lightroom, you know, if you're a photographer, you'll just use Lightroom. But if you're doing a bit of both, like me, I end up going between the two all of the time. Let's talk about the two versions of Lightroom. Why do they have two versions of Lightroom? I do not know, uh, but they do. They, I do know why. Um, so there's Lightroom, which we're doing in this course. Okay, let's call it, actually call it, I think, Photoshop Lightroom, even though it's, <laughs> they just, I think they just threw Photoshop on there to give it a bit of like brand recognition. Okay, but we just refer to it as Lightroom. Okay, then there's Lightroom Classic, which is not the, like it's the old version but it's still being supported, if you know what I mean. It's not like an ancient one that they, nobody looks at anymore. They just split it. They forked the program and said, we want to do all this new stuff. And Lightroom Classic has become so full of 
amazing amounts of detail, um, you know, and adjustments, but it's been built up so long over so much time that they didn't want to say, hey, existing photography world, we're gonna cut it down because half of the stuff nobody uses, okay, probably, uh, you know, only one eighth of it actually gets used, okay, and the rest of it is, is in there and a couple of people use, but we don't wanna like forget those people. So here you go, we're gonna keep supporting classic, Okay, we're gonna call it classic and we're gonna keep supporting it. So you've got all of the switches and dials. And what they did was is, okay, let's remake this program to something a lot more usable. Okay, for the, the person who, like in classic, there is a hundred ways of doing the same thing. Whereas Lightroom, there's two, okay? So they kind of just went, all right, there's new technology. This is what most people use. This is up to date. We're going to support that in Lightroom. And it just makes it easier for somebody like me who doesn't want to get into the super granular detail, okay? Or at least just wants one or two ways to get into the super granular detail. It's not a cut down version. They just give you, they've just kind of removed some of the complexity. If you open Classic or Camera Raw, it's a little bit like, whoa. <laughs> it's like, it's heavy going. Like, I'm pretty experienced. And even then, I'm like, I don't know what all this does, I'm freaking out. Okay, whereas Lightroom opened it up and I'm like, ah, oh, oh. like you can get a handle on everything, be able to do everything. So that's that's why there's two versions. They supported the industry, they didn't want to alienate them, and that continue classic, but Lightroom, the one we're gonna do in this course is the, is the one where it's using a few more, it's got all the good stuff that you need for kind of traditional photography, but they're introducing a kind of bunch of AI and some other cool stuff that we'll do in the course, which is pretty exciting for me. Um, let's have a quick little look at um, some of the things that get people confused about Classic versus Lightroom. So let me quickly jump on the screen. It's over here, clearly I'm pointing. So these are the two different bits of software here compared on the Adobe site. I feel like it's just really interesting to know what both of them do so you can make informed decisions. There's a lot of stuff online with like, oh, you have to use Classic or you gotta use this one here. You can use either. Neither tool will make you a better photographer, okay? Neither will the camera or the lens, okay? It's about experience and like there's way, I, I prefer Lightroom, but there are way better photographers with way better shots that work in Classic than me. Okay, so it's not really down to the tools. But let's cover what the differences are between these two. So the main difference for me is these, okay, down at ease of use, most comprehensive and intuitive and streamlined. So you're not missing out on anything in Lightroom. There's just like one or two ways of doing stuff rather than the 10 or 20 ways of doing stuff in here. Okay, so there's just stuff that people prefer to use and they'll stay with Classic because they have uh, workflows that work better in Classic or they don't particularly want to use the, you know, the cut down version in Lightroom. And cut down is the wrong word, just they've chosen the best options. You get what I mean. Uh, so let's have a look at here. Um, some of these like, Desktop only is the classic, kind of like a traditional way of photo editing, okay? You save everything on your hard drive. This one here has the same desktop version. That's what we're gonna focus on in this course. But there's also a mobile and web version. You can access and organize your photographs, do editing. These are a little bit more cut down than the desktop version, okay? There's only so much you can do on your mobile phone and through a website, okay? But they're updating those all the time. We're gonna focus in this course mainly on desktop. We'll jump into mobile and web, okay, towards the end, but we're gonna focus on this. So there, they're pretty comparable. Um, this one here, where are the originals? This one sometimes gets a little bit freaked out is that this one here's on your hard drive, like you know and love, and you've got a big storage drive, and you've got them there, and you own them, and they're all sitting there. This one here says cloud. What first put me off of this is like, I don't want them all in the cloud, I want them on my hard drive as well. You can do that. There's an option here that I'll show you to say, and also on local hard drive, so you can have both best of both worlds. But the nice thing about having cloud option here is that the files are backed up automatically to the cloud. Okay, you get given a chunk of storage through this version here and they'll just automatically get backed up. Whereas in this one here, you'll probably still use backup, okay, for you probably use Dropbox or Google Drive or OneDrive or whatever you're using to do file backup. It's just a little bit more manual, okay, whereas this is just kind of all built in. Ease of use we've talked about. This one here is a really cool feature. Like, it doesn't seem like much, but organizing and photo search. Uh, this one here, you have to kind of start tagging things yourself with keywords when it was done. Whereas this one here has some, I like to say AI machine learning together, because <laughs> I don't really know the difference. Adobe calls it uh, Adobe Sensei. 
which is pretty sweet. Okay, but basically it does really cool things where they're leveraging some more of this AI slash machine learning and to do things like image searches. You might have done it on your phone before. Some of them are starting to do them, some don't. But I can do things like find pictures of Daniel Scott and it will go through all my images that I've shot, okay, and just find me. Or it'll say, you can say, I want to find a red car with a blue sky. And it will go through and find red cars, but only if there's a blue sky, okay? Or um, you can put it in a location. Even though they might not have been geotagged, um, AI learning starts to do cool stuff about knowing what things are and what they look like, and that's getting better and better. And one of the cool perks for Lightroom. So, okay, Lightroom Classic, awesome. Lightroom, also awesome. We're going to be focusing on Lightroom in this course. A lot of things will translate back and forth. So if you do learn Lightroom, Lightroom Classic won't be a particularly hard challenge to get into, but neither will make you a better photographer. Practice, experience, those things will. And that's what we're gonna do in this course. Practice, get a bit some experience, get better. All right, next one. So let's talk about the difference between Adobe Lightroom and Adobe Bridge and Camera Raw as a combo. So a lot of people will use those two as a photographer instead of Lightroom. Okay, so um, basically, uh, Camera Raw will take your raw photographs, okay, and do your editing, okay, and Bridge does the organization, whereas Lightroom does those two things together. So there's no reason why you can't use um, Camera Raw and Bridge together. There's nothing wrong with it. Loads of people do, um, but Lightroom is an all-in-one, okay, and if you're new, especially, Camera Raw can be quite daunting, like like, uh, you know, like classic is, Lightroom Classic, okay? There's a lot of ways of doing stuff, okay? And it gets into, there's a lot of options to do the same thing, whereas Lightroom, they've cut it down a bit. You can still do all the same stuff, okay? You just don't have so many dials and so many different switches to go and do to get to the, you know, get to the result that you want. And Bridge is great for organi organizing stuff, but it's kind of designed for not just photographers, but videographers and all sorts of other use cases for Bridge. So it does, a, there's again, a lot of depth to that program for organizing stuff and it does great things. Um, but Lightroom is geared for photographers and does some of the kind of camera raw photography stuff a lot faster than Bridge does in some cases on some computers. So there'd be people out there waving their hands at me. No, it doesn't, okay, but it, yeah, Lightroom is, especially the Lightroom version, is really good at organizing and kind of doing bulk edits, whereas Camera Raw and uh, Bridge together can add a little bit of extra complexity. So if you're new, yeah, do Lightroom because it combines the two. If you know somebody doing uh, Camera Raw plus Bridge, works perfect. Just a little bit more extra work, potentially. And those are those ones. Yeah, Camera Raw. Bridge versus Lightroom. All right, that is the end of the video. Uh, if you enjoyed it, give it a like. It helps me out. Uh, also subscribe to the channel because there's lots more Lightroom content where that came from. Uh, if you are sitting there thinking though, I wish you'd just do a course, you know, take me from zero to hero all the way through Lightroom and show me everything. Oh, you're in luck. Uh, I've got something called the Lightroom Essentials course. There'll be a link to it in the description here. Uh, so check that out if you want to go from zero to hero in Lightroom. But for now, carry on, like and subscribe.